Welcome to a special edition video from Lockdown Electronics and um, I've put this video together really quickly so apologies there's not going to be any flashy editing or anything like that but um, in response to my last video on using um, uh, modern test gear with uh, with older equipment uh, one of one of my uh, viewers uh, Tron Magnum asked if um, it was possible to um, uh, display the IF curve using the the tiny SA and if you're familiar with the tiny SA then um, you'll know what I'm talking about but the tiny SA is exactly what it says on the tin it's a tiny spectrum analyzer so I thought what I'd do I thought I would um, just set something up really quickly here on the bench and you'll be able to see the display from my Siglent spectrum analyzer and also the display from the the tiny SA and you can um, judge for yourself um, and I think the answer to the question actually is it's actually pretty good for the money so I'll just reposition the camera and we'll have a look at the uh, the two displays okay here we are then and um, I've got uh, a little tank circuit that's a capacitor and uh, an inductor in parallel just um, and it's an a inductor I can tune with a trimmer, a little bit like an IF can. And I've got my um, M0 BMN noise source kit here, producing RF noise. That's generating the, the signal. And then I'm looking at the output of that uh, on the spectrum analyzer here. Um, and you can hopefully see um, we have got a a response curve there and if I just tune the, if I move the slug in the can uh, right to the top end just quickly uh, you can see the peak has now moved to the right so I'm going to just move it back to the center so you're seeing the resonant frequency of this tank circuit change so that's on the um, Siglent spectrum analyzer and starting at 10 kilohertz going to 130 kilohertz and I've got um, a bandwidth of uh, resolution bandwidth of 3 kilohertz um, so here and I'm hoping I can get both of these on the display for you there's the tiny SA display I'm trying to leave it there so they hopefully both stay in focus um, and I think as you can see uh, there is clearly a, a response curve in um, a similar fashion and if I now move the slug in the coil up to the top you can see that the uh, peak is moving across obviously the sweep rate on the tiny SA is much slower than on the Siglent but there again um, considering what you pay for a tiny SA I don't think um, too much to, to worry about there that that noise there uh, is um, sort of the um, unfortunate fact that obviously it isn't um, such a nice piece of kit as the Siglin but nonetheless you know that is more than capable of showing you the shape of an IF curve now um, on the video that uh, Tron Magnum commented on I was using the um, sweep generator that's built into my spectrum analyzer to, to produce the the stimulus signal for that here i'm using a broadband rf noise source and again it's something you can use to, to tune um an if stage uh, stage with and you will get the shape of the display but hopefully what you see in there is that yes um it, the tiny sa is capable of doing this kind of thing um, actually it's a remarkably capable bit of kit to be honest and um, well done to Eric Keshock for uh, for what he's done here it's absolutely excellent now if I adjust the video bandwidth on my um, Siglent one I can reduce a lot of that a lot of the peaks there and you can you can see a better shape curve and I've not found a way to do that on the tiny SA but Got to bear in mind that this was, I um, can't remember exactly how much I paid for it now, about 50 or 60 UK pounds, whereas this was um, 1,600 um, pounds. So it's a great deal, great deal of difference um, in the, risk, the the price. But yeah, um, the Tiny SA certainly does have its faults and people 
cleverer than me you can find plenty of videos to show that on on uh, on youtube but actually yeah that's more than capable of, of tuning something so um nice one tiny sa okay well hopefully you've seen that it's um you don't need to spend mega bucks and this little uh, this little bit of kit is actually um pretty good for what it does so hopefully that's um answered uh, your question uh, Tron but uh, well done for asking it and um, this is just a little sort of um, I don't know a subscript video so uh, I'm going to just uh, uh, put this out uh, in between my normal video stream but hopefully um, it's uh, been useful thanks very much for watching if you've liked it please click the thumbs up if not you can click the thumbs down be great if you could subscribe and also be great if you could if you've liked the video and you think other people might benefit uh, please let them know and share it thanks very much we'll see you next week